Hello and welcome to this online guide on how to make your very own security cameras using old phones using Alfred security camera. So the first thing we need to do is search for Alfred security camera on Google on something uh, like a browser. So here, oh my gosh, we're going to do this now. And you'll see here, this is it's the first one that comes up, alfred.camera. Okay? So what we'll do is, um, you'll see you can get it wherever you want, on either Google Play or the App Store, and you can press web app over here. So it uses Google as a sign up, so you can sign in with your Google account. That's what I will be doing today. If this pops up asking about uh, what Alfred Camera wants to do with your Google account, all you need to do is just press allow. And you'll, s you'll see that I have some cameras already set up. So, um, like this iPhone here, but I'm just going to delete these because we no longer have these phones. Okay, so now we'll hop on to our phone. Uh, I'll be using a um, an Android phone for this tutorial, but um, any phone, uh, it doesn't really matter what phone you use. Okay, so Okay, so now that we're on our phone, this will work on iPhone, iOS uh, devices, iPad or Android devices. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the Play Store so that we can download the app. Over here, we're so this is Alfred and it's just this one, the Alfred Video Home Surveillance Camera Baby Monitor. Uh, so we're going to install it by pressing the install button. And then you just wait for the install to finish. Just press skip up here, we don't need to see all this, press try it out. Now you can set it up as either a viewer or a camera, I'm going to set it up as a viewer camera and press get started. Now you're going to uh, sign in with Google and it's the same Google account. And then just press allow. And allow. And now our camera is online and on here we can refresh to see our new cameras and you can see that my phone has now been has come up on here and you'll see that it's exactly the same and you can see the view from your cameras so um, the web viewer uh, at alfred.camera is available um, wherever you are as long as you've got an internet connection or 3G and you can also download the app and as long as you sign in to the same Google account you'll be able to view all the cameras uh, as long as they've also got Wi-Fi and are not without charge. We also recommend that you um, always put it um, your phones on charge. You can always put it like this you can actually, you know, there's a few tips there. Then 
says power saving mode, which just turns off the screen and turns it black. Uh, but we don't actually need to do that. And you can also turn motion tracking on and off, uh, so it can actually detect when movement is happening on the camera. That is actually a really cool feature. Now you can select which lens, so you can set it to the front camera. And you can see my beautiful face. Here we are with the microphone. So, oh, for some reason that's upside down. But anyway, it's a fantastic little app. Uh, you can turn audio on and off, um, and you can change the focus and stuff. anyway it's a really cool app hopefully this helped you to install your new cameras with Alfred security um, camera or whatever you want to call it um, it's a really cool way to get free accessible security cameras or dog watching cameras or other pet watching cameras or baby watching cameras and you can also speak through the app I think I'm not sure if that's available on here actually. Might be able to have a look. You can turn on siren. So that starts a siren. Obviously you won't do that if your dog's there. Low light filter. So uh, yeah also turn that on so it turns into light night mode uh, okay so hopefully this helped you set it up and um, uh, they also have a forum if you're experiencing any issues and moments is uh, when it records so what we can do is let's say you saw someone breaking into your house then you can just press uh, record Oh my gosh, there's so many in my house, you won't be able to hear the audio, the screen recorder is doing that. And then you just press stop recording, and then you can hop into your moments, and in theory it should upload to there. And here is the moment that we just recorded. There isn't any audio, but it will record the audio, but right now I can't get the audio to work because I'm screen recording on the phone. But once again, hopefully this helped you, um, and if you've got any issues, then just email contact at edustep.co.uk or um, find our online chat at edustep.co.uk and we'll be able to help you. Hopefully this video helped. Goodbye.